Think about the contrast of live music and a stoneware pot. When I go to a concert, there's a time where the stage goes dark. And then there's one note. The moment that that music starts, it's gone. That moment is gone. The temporalness of it. When I'm raising a pot and I'm directing and raising it and blowing it out and bringing it in, it's going to be there somewhere frozen in time. Every opportunity to touch clay is an opportunity to leave an impression. One of our jobs as artists is to help people see that which they're missing. Like there's so much beauty around us. If I were to take a canvas and put some lines on there, it could be just a chicken in the, in the backyard pecking the ground. But because I captured the sunlight and I captured that bird in its likeness, it helps you to see how beautiful simplicity can be. Clay is the smallest molecule of dirt you can find. Every aspect of it is amazing. I love being able to touch and leave my imprint. I have four incredible sons. My oldest is 18. 17, 13, and 12. We have a little roadside stand. My sons and my wife, we all work together here. We support local farmers in Adams County. We love introducing people to what's available in their own backyard. Hey Dave, can I have one of these? This is for me. It's just beautiful. Mm. Being a potter, <laughs> I tell people you must love food. So if you know that good pottery is made for food, then it's not arrogant. It's not proud. It should be something that's utilitarian, as we should be. We should be usable. A Japanese potter was demonstrating in the States, and somebody raised their hand and said, What's the difference between Japanese pottery and American pottery? And he was trying to be very gentle. He says, in America, you throw the outside of the pot to make it attractive so someone would buy it. 
In Japan, we throw the inside of the pot because we are concerned with how it will be used, whether it's going to hold rice or wine or oil. So we are making a pot from the inside. True beauty emanates from inside of us. Whether it's a pot, or a canvas, or a face, or a person. Coming to terms with the beauty that God put in you is needful or necessary before you can make a beautiful pot, a beautiful painting. If he's the potter, are you allowing his touch to move you, even if it's a position that doesn't look like you should sit at a king's table? To let him decide daily how he would place you today on, on the table or on the floor. <laughs> and to be pleased in both places. He decides. It's a wonderful thing to be a pot in God's hand. <laughs>